Only on CBS News, the head of U.S. intelligence is commenting on whether American spy agencies have found evidence of foreign entities changing votes and thereby altering the recent election. It is a key claim by President Trump's legal team in its attempts to overturn the results. Senior investigative correspondent Catherine Herridge spoke exclusively with John Ratcliffe in his first network interview as director of national intelligence. Does the intelligence show that any foreign adversary or criminal group had the ability to change the vote results? Not that we've been able to determine. Now, at this point in time, we're still in, uh, analyzing all of the intelligence. Tremendous voter fraud and irregularities. When the president gives a video on voter fraud allegations, is that intelligence coming from you? Well, I can't tell you the specific uh, information that I give the president, but voter fraud is not an issue for the intelligence community per se. That's a domestic law enforcement issue. Does the intelligence show that foreign adversaries are amplifying the voter fraud allegations? Uh, they are. Who's doing that? I can't tell you. But they are? Yes. And what's their objective? To undermine public confidence in uh, our democratic processes. As the government prepares for a new administration in January, Radcliffe says China is now the nation's most pressing national security threat, from efforts to steal COVID vaccine research to ripping off the U.S. economy. China intends to dominate the world economically, militarily, and technologically. They intend to be the world's superpower. How many Americans and billions of dollars have been lost to the Chinese? U.S. government estimates about $500 billion a year, which would impact every American household four to $6,000 a year as a result of what China is doing on the economic espionage front. What does the intelligence show about foreign efforts to steal COVID-19 vaccine research. China has been attempting to access our research into COVID-19. So the pandemic that was created by China's actions, they've attempted to steal our research. Has it been aggressive in the last year? Everything that China does is aggressive. What is your message on China to the Biden team? They're our greatest adversary. It's the greatest threat that this country has faced since World War II. Director Radcliffe said the delayed transition has not put the Biden team at a disadvantage. President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Harris are now receiving the same highly classified information as President Trump. Radcliffe says he plans to release a fuller report on foreign election interference in January. Anthony? Catherine, thank you.